What are these creatures called bedbug? There are close to about one million species or kinds of insects living on our planet. There are millions more that had been extinct through the years because of natural phenomena like climate change and man-made environment changes. But did you know that insects are the most resilient living organisms? Yes, it's true. They are so resilient that thousands of species can live for years without nourishment or feeding. Studies and scientists' assertions also note that if an inhalation does happen in the planet, every living creature will be affected and annihilated except for insects. Insects are gifted with protective structures, usually in the outermost layer of their skin or physical structures. These protective layers, which are naturally and usually characterized by wax-like substances, are what makes insects very resilient and adaptive to harsh physical environmental changes. They adapt well to these environments. Insects also have extremely low thresholds to pain. Even if you crash an insect or take out a wing or handicap it, it would still strive to move away from you or from any attacker. Bedbugs. Bedbugs account for only among one among the millions of, of, of insects that are on the planet, if not billions or trillions of insects living with us on this planet called Earth. Bedbugs also belong to Kingdom Insecta, scientifically known as Cymex lectularis. Bedbugs are so tiny that you can hardly see them even in broad daylight. But there are bedbugs that can grow to about one-fourth of an inch, the most they can grow. These bedbugs are the mature ones that have regular sources of food and good natural or, or conducive habitats. Bedbugs, like most other insects, live in places that are usually neg neglected by people. In your room, you can probably see and find bedbugs inside small and tiny crevices, cracks or holes in the wall, the ceiling, the floor, some furniture, or even your bed. Bedbugs are among those kinds of insects that sleep or hide during the daytime hours to finally come out and hunt for food at nighttime. Call it smart, but such insects have amazingly biological clocks that know when it is time to go out and look out for prospective and unsuspicious victims. Bedbugs food. Bedbugs do not eat anything but blood. However, the blood needed by bedbugs for nourishment should come from mammals or hot-blooded animals. Again, they might be smart enough because they can tell by mere smelling if a prospective victim or host is hot-blooded or not. Bedbugs suck blood of people, but their food requirements are not limited to people's blood. They can also suck as alternatives, cat blood, dog blood, bird blood, or whatever animal or pet that they can get their mouth into. Bedbugs are among those insects that are given structures like beaks that can pierce into a victim's skin. Such insects use those structures to suck and sip blood from victims. Insects normally are not carnivorous, so are bedbugs. But you may have a different classification for them because of their eating habit. Somehow, they can be related to vampires. Don't be amazed, of course. That is just to tickle you with a little sense of humor. <laughs> because bedbugs and similar insects prey on and eat blood, it follows that their excretion is also having resemblance to blood. As they say, what goes in is also what goes out of you. Hence, you can find that bedbugs... Um, excrement and the pee that they come that comes out of their body are red or deep red color. They may appear as such tiny red stains in your bed, your bed sheet, furniture services, or wherever they may have contact with. Insects like that are normally detected because of their excretion. Somehow their excrement betrays them. Bed bugs and other insects. Because bed bugs belong to the insects family, naturally it follows that they are bona fide insects. Classifying them or grouping them with blood-sucking insects will be logical. However, be informed that, yes, bedbugs do suck blood, but they are very safe. Unlike mosquitoes, which transmit and transfer diseases from one person to another, bedbug bites are not that notorious. Scientists have found that bedbugs' stomachs have linings and peptides that will not allow bacteria, fungi, and viruses to thrive. It may be a consolation for you.